In this video, we're going to talk about Mahjong, everyone's favourite game. So, there's plenty of things you need to do on Town Go for Mahjong, I believe. I've used a particular cheat item there, uh, which gives you 13 orphans. So, if you use that, you'll get some super hand. And I was just basically showing you how to get a really high score really easily. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get the cheat item from... In fact, I was going to say. I thought usually it just gives you the full whack immediately, but apparently it didn't this time. Oh, and it's pure 9 gates. It's not 13 orphans, my bad. So that's 97,000 points or whatever. Easy way to win. Um, but yeah, that's you get that from the Mahjong tile. It's like a cheat item. So you probably get that in the... Um, either from a sub story or from um, coin lockers or anything like that. That's usually where you get those sort of cheat items from. The basics of Mahjong are essentially you start with 14 tiles and you're aiming to get three, no, sorry, four triples and one double. That's the easiest way to win if you don't know the rules. So there's various tiles on the screen you can see now. So the ones on the far left are like, we'll, we'll just call them kanji tiles because I don't know what they are. But kanji tiles and then you've got the green ones which we'll just call green ones. And you got dots. So they're three different types of sets of one to nine. So basically you'll have dots which you can get one to nine on. You'll have green that you can get one to nine on. And then you'll have kanji that you can get one to nine on. There's also directional tiles and dragon tiles. So you get north, east, south, and west. And then you've got dragon blank, which is the white one. Dragon red, and then dragon green. So the purpose of those, I'm not 100% clear on. But you do get extra points if you get like white three dragons. Uh, or three easts or three wests or whatever. Um... There's various different ways to win. As you saw there, the guy had a, a full, uh, an all triple at hand. So, basically, for example, to get a, like a winning hand, if you had one, two, three. So on the screen now, we've got three, four, seven. So if we had three, four, five, and then let's say we had like you know six, seven, eight. And then in green tiles we had five, six, seven. And then in dots we had one, two, three. And then we had a double of like two dragons or, you know, two fours or whatever. That's a basic hand. Um, what you don't want to do is use chi or pawn. So you'll see chi and pawn come up quite a lot on the screen when other people are taking their turns. That just means that you're trying to steal a tile from them. And if you steal a tile, your points kind of go down. So it makes it a lot harder to win. And if you have a uh, two-door minimum set as the rule, then you sometimes won't be able to win. Or as far as I've seen, I couldn't find a way to win in certain situations. So you're looking for either a straight. So like in poker, a straight would be one, two, three, four, five. In this, it'd just be one, two, three, because you're, you're doing sets of three tiles. Um... But you can also have like triples, so triple three, triple six, yeah, you know, triple five, wh whichever triple you want. You can have triple, you know, dragon, you can have triple east, west, whatever you want. But that just means it's all the same tile for three tiles. You can also basically, my personal go to is either get. All triples, or all, you know, one, two, three. A basic hand, you know, like <laughs> a one, two, three, and then triple three, and then, you know, another one, two, three. Anything that's like a straight, and then uh, a triplet, and then a double at the end, you should have a winning hand. Uh, you might get unlucky with certain ones where you don't get the full amount of points or something for whatever reason. Um... But in general, that's the easiest way to win. So out of your 12 tiles, you'll have four triplets. 
So the four triplets will consist of either a straight or a triple. And then you'll have your two tiles, which are a double. So to win, there's two ways of doing it. Sumo, which is basically where you draw the last tile that you need. So if you, let's say for example on the screen now, I only needed that four. If I press square, uh, it'll come up with sumo. Sometimes it comes up automatically, I think. Um, and then there's another one called Ron, which is where you steal the tile to win. So stealing tile to win isn't that bad against your score, but using chi and pawn detriments your score quite significantly. I only use chi or pawn when I've got like dragon tiles. So if, say I've got three dragon tiles there, I'd only use it for that generally. You can also get, it's like poker where you can get like, you know, a flush, a half flush, um, you know, a full straight, similar things to that. And then there are like the very, very unique hands like 13 orphans and pure nine gates, which are like borderline impossible for me to explain because I don't even know what they are, but is what it is. But the scoring... Oh, that's another point as well. If you press square every right sort of turn, when it's your turn, if Reachy comes up, it means that you are one tile away from winning. So I just press that every single time. Because sometimes you don't even notice that you're, you're one tile away from winning, but the game will know if you are or not. Uh, there's a lot of RNG involved, obviously, because it's a big tile game. Uh... I wouldn't worry too much about what's in the middle and stuff like that. That's stuff that's sort of there to increase your points and you can make hands based off certain things to do with it. But from a basic level, you don't need to know it. Or at least I didn't and I made it through, so hopefully you don't either. Um, but if you do want to learn about it, there are some really knowledgeable people out there um, that know everything about it. And it, it would obviously help you if you knew about it. Uh, to make your life easier. But I'm talking for the lazy people here like myself. Uh, that just want to get it done. And it is what it is. So as you can see on the screen now. I've called Ricci. The game automatically plays itself from this point. Until you get Ron or Sumo. Or if the other person wins. Or if it's a draw. So. All you need is one tile drawn. Or stolen. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. As you can see, we've got... There you go, Sumo. Lovely. So on the screen there, you can see 5, 6, 7, triple 3, 3, 4... Uh, what was that? 3, 4, 6? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I can't see! No! It's blocking my thing. But yeah, I must have got some sort of hand there. Because we had 3, 4, 5 at the end, and then we had 3, 4, and then 6, 7, 8. Oh no, because it did 2, 3, 4 with it. So it did 2, 3, 4 there. And then it counted the two twos as a double. And then we had 4, 5, 6. That makes more sense. So yeah, that's the basics of how to win in Mahjong. I know it's probably not incredibly clear. It's quite tricky to explain when you're someone that doesn't really know, even though I've played all the games and won all the Mahjong things. I don't 100% know what I'm doing on it. Um, so with the rules as well, I've gone for... Did I go for full game there? Might have been a terrible idea. Anyway. So yeah, if you just watch what happens in these matches, you'll see just certain ways of winning. As you can see there, I stole straight away on the West Tiles. Because the West Tiles are might give me an extra point at the Dora stage where at the end um, as you can see Pawn and Chi popping up a lot maybe I should have pawned that 9 I don't know maybe it would have helped but yeah if you, like when you when you look at your tiles like now I had 9 and an 8 and a 1 there the 1's pretty useless but then again you can draw another 1 there which is annoying but you can't know that so the aim is basically to just try and pair up things or get triplets as you go through you have to make you know decisions based on what you think might happen which is tricky obviously 
So I've got 7, 8, 9 there on the left. So I'm looking for a 5 green. And I've also got 3, 5, 7, 8, double 9. So I've gone with getting rid of the double 9 because I've got 7, 8, 9. And then I've got 4 and 5 in green here. So that 9, we'll discard that 9, the green one. We'll discard the dragon. Sometimes nothing comes up that you need, but it has now. So we've got three, four, five dots, seven, eight, nine dots. So which green are we going to get rid of, the four or the six? It doesn't really matter. But if you look around the map of what they've discarded as well, they've discarded a six. So it's quite likely that someone else might discard a six uh, if they have it. Because they've seen that that one's safe to discard. That's how I think about it. I could be thinking the incredibly wrong way. But now we've got a triplet there. And we've also got three, four, five. So we're still going for that six, which incredibly risky, but is what it is. So now we've gone for the seven, eight, nine, and we've ended in a draw, unfortunately. But then that was an example there of where we were one tile away from winning. And then, then in this example, let's see what happens. So we're throwing down. Let's see what we've got. We've got four, six, seven, nine, double two. We've got double two there. We've got six. I'll probably get rid of the six unless something comes out. Yep. Get rid of that six. Triple two. We've got two fives. We've got eight, nine. Got two twos, we've got a four, a six, a seven, and a nine. So we can make something out of that end sort of column there, hopefully. Unless we keep getting rubbish draws like this. There we go, three, four. Well, we've got two, three, four. We could get rid of the two, technically. And he has done, so he's got two, three, four. And then we need like an eight. Well, we've got two sixes now. What's he going to do there? And by he, I mean me. <laughs> Got rid of the nine, interesting. So I'm going balls to the wall here. One, two, three, four. So I need a five. Five on the dots. Got two twos now. Hmm. I'll probably get rid of the two. Or the six in this situation. Bit tricky. Got another four. We need some dot action here. We get a decent dot, then uh, oh, there you go, Preachy. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got six, seven. So we need an eight, basically. I think. Yeah, we need an eight here, or a five, and it's ended in a draw. Classic. That's unfortunate, but we were one off again. Again, these are just examples of like the, th the thinking process behind what we do. So we're starting off here. It doesn't look like we've got a great hand. I'd probably get rid of that one on the left-hand side or maybe the S, depending. Um, let's see what we do. We just sit here for 10 seconds and think about it. There we go. <laughs> the one's gone. I would probably steal that dragon. He didn't. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Not sure why. We've got two doubles there. And we've got another double there. So we've got double seven, double six. So in this instance, I might start going for all doubles. Because we've got quite a lot of doubles going on. But at the same time, you could also get trebles whilst you're doing this. So, always useful. Got that five there. I might keep that five and get rid of the six. Yep. So that might happen because we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine on the left on the greens. And then we've got four, six, double seven. We've got another five. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Because if we stuck with the six there, we could have had double five. So like you, you, your thought process changes halfway in sometimes. Because it depends on what you draw, basically. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a tricky, tricky one to gauge. We've got a 9 there, get rid of that. What else have we got? W, get rid of that. Dragon is going to end in another draw, probably. 
unfortunately. But yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. Hopefully this helped a little bit. And I've lost on a run there, unfortunately. Classic. But yeah, if you do enjoy the videos, please do like and subscribe and comment. And uh, we've got memberships unlocked and super chats unlocked if anyone's interested in that. Memberships get uh, early access to all the content before everyone else. And uh, yeah, we've got Discord in the description. But yeah, I'll just finish this off describing the last round or so. Might be two rounds, depending. So yeah, we've got double dragons there in red. We've got double one. We've got two. We've got a nine. I'd probably get rid of that nine. It's not really needed there. And then we've got one, six, nine in green. Again, you could get rid of one or nine there. And you've got four, seven, nine. Again, you could probably get rid of four there. So we've got another one, so that's triple one. That's awesome. I'd get rid of the nine now, definitely, because you're not going... Oh, he's gone for the two for some reason. Interesting. Oh, got double nine there, so get rid of that nine. Perfect. Got three, four, so I'd probably get rid of the S or the D there. Oh, no, we've got a two Ds, so get rid of the S. Perfect. Double four, interesting. Maybe get rid of the three, I don't know. Thinking about it. He's got rid of the nine. Fair play, fair play. Get rid of the seven, don't need it. You could triple up on the four here and go for it. He has done. So that means we've got triple four, we've got triple one. I'm looking for a triple dragon. Either or. I've got triple nine. One of the dragons now and we've won. Well, we should have. There we go. Sumo. Full red dragons. Lovely stuff. So hopefully that does help. I mean, it's it's easier to watch and kind of see what people do and what, what they discard. Uh, and Yeah. But I'll, I'll try my best to help you in the uh, description. Or in, sorry, in the comments if you need any help. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out.